Madrigals are always singing. Here, before we board the bus for our trip to France and England, we sing farewell to family and friends with the very popular song, The Blessing of Aaron. <laughs> stop in Paris was the magnificent cathedral of Notre Dame. On the River Seine, aboard a bateau mouche, we had a panoramic view of all of the sites of Paris. This is the Louvre Museum, where we had a guided tour of all of the important sites, including the Venus de Milo and the Theater Muse. With the body seven times the head, as far as the proportions are concerned, and this lady respects for the sculpture the chasm uh, of Periclet, which means that when you have a look at the sculpture, there are two diagonals. You can see that there is one between the shoulder with one uh, shoulder. This is Saint Jacques en Opa, an historic church currently undergoing restoration, where we did our first official concert. J'ai le véritable joie et le plaisir d'accueillir dans ce, cette très belle église le magical singer William Tennant High School Choral.
representing the French Ministry of War Veterans, Nicholas Francis presented us with posters and an official plaque. In return, we gave our World War II commemorative booklet and a Moravian tile with the seal of Bucks County, Pennsylvania. This is the magnificent 440-room Palace of Chambord, home of French royalty, and scene of our second official concert. With sunlight streaming through the stained glass windows of the Renaissance Chapel here, we fell in love with the beauty and acoustics of Chambord. Mr. and Mrs. Landley joined us in this concert.
This is the American cemetery in Colville-sur-Mer in Normandy and the main purpose of our trip to France. Sergeant Hooker of the Department of Defense handed the wreath to Mark and Amy to present in the name of William Tennant High School and of the state of Pennsylvania.
This is the view of the landing beaches in Normandy outside of the cemetery. Here in the cemetery, over 9,000 Americans lie buried, including 33 pairs of brothers and one father and son. This is the medieval island fortress of Mont Saint-Michel, where most of us made it to the very, very top. In this tent, high above Les Floralies de la Paix, in the city of Caen, we had a wonderful concert. The flower gardens Les Floralies were set up only for this summer for the 50th anniversary of D-Day and the liberation of France. At our gift exchange here, we were given one of only 300 plaques commemorating these famous gardens. And of course, we all tried their famous chocolate waffles. <laughs> Heather, what did you order? What did you order? Chocolate water. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Yes, you can get a freight kit. How good is it, eh? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs>
This is the magnificent Basilica of Saint Therese, the Little Flower, in the town of Lisieux, only a few blocks from our hotel. We just had to try the acoustics inside this beautiful basilica. At the end of the song, listen for the very, very long echo. The Gardens Hotel here in Lisieux was the favorite of the group with its skylight windows, outdoor pool, indoor pool table, and gourmet French cuisine. Here we sing farewell to Marie, our French guide, and Hank, our Dutch driver. This is the ferry at Calais, which brought us across the channel to Dover. These, of course, are the famous White Cliffs of Dover. Our hotel in England was the White House, not far from the famed Baker Street of Sherlock Holmes' time. Our first evening was at Flanagan's, where we had traditional fish and chips, and music by Rini, who used to entertain the troops in World War II. Of course, everyone sang along.
actually the parish church of Westminster, which is one that can use it for similar occasions or christenings, Sorry? that kind of thing. Big Ben, the clock tower, uh, it's actually the bell in the Houses of Parliament, or the Palace of Westminster, as it's otherwise known, which is the seat of here. This is Horse Guards Parade. These are some of those horses that I was mentioning to you before, the ones, the clever ones who use the lifts. Um, so they still have the guard there. How often the Queen actually does go there is a really another matter. Now, you'll notice as we go through this arch now for their changing of the guard ceremony at Horse Guards Parade, where we passed earlier on, they're going to relieve them. <laughs> okay, so well, okay, now as we come up here, you can see the monument right in front of us is to Queen Victoria and all the wonderful things that happened during her reign, it was 64 years. But more importantly, um, we're going to pass by Buckingham Palace where we'll have the changing of the guard. These are the famous Tower Ravens and the White Tower at the Tower of London. Here at Windsor Castle, we saw the entire ceremony of the changing of the guard from front row seats. Here are a few clips for you. This is the Church of St. James in Piccadilly. The composer George Frederick Handel worshipped here and played the organ during his time in England. The church was designed by Christopher Wren, who also designed St. Paul's Cathedral. The original 17th century wood carvings are by Grinling Gibbons. This was our last formal concert.
On our way home at last, after a wonderful never-to-be-forgotten trip, Magical Singers and I thank everyone who made this trip possible.